Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time, visited the perplexing pool, drained the swamp, courtesy of the ground butthole, got a ton of treasure, and opened up the shower room. So, get your toothbrush and your flippy floppies. Well, let's get started. If you're enjoying this series so far, if you could go ahead and toss a thumbs up, the old like on the video, for recognition. Comment if you're feeling it and subscribe to stay up to date with all this crazy content. All right, so first things first. We're gonna do a little bit of splitting up, a little bit of management here to start the day. One of the things I haven't been keeping up with super well is sprays. And I'm gonna want at least One spicy spray for the upcoming dungeon. It is of utmost importance. Usually I like to just have one spray for the boss. It helps out a lot. And the boss of the shower room, if I remember correctly, is pretty notoriously difficult. So I'd like to not make my experience horrible. All right, so now that the spicy spray berries are of... Access to us will do that. There are sheer wigs over here. So let's go ahead and kill them first. Use your swarms of Pikmin to clear them out. There's also a Wallywog too, so if you want to take him out, you can do that. I don't need my Pikmin to do this right now. I just need the blues first. Oh, always blue. Okay, great. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. Stop. Pikmin, quiet. One of the other annoying things that your Pikmin will do from time to time. Actually, I might just kill this Wallywog. One of the annoying things your Pikmin will do from time to time when you are trying to harvest berries is they won't always... Um, oh, I just got a bunch of them killed. Um, just one. That's fine. They won't always go for the berries after they've been harvested, which is really annoying. Because you need, remember, ten. So they'll just knock them into the water, and if your Pikmin haven't harvested the berries in time, they will just go So, you don't get any for that. You don't want that. But anyway, we want to build this bridge right here. This bridge over troubled water. Access that because over here is going to be a gate that we need to tear down, as you can see. And that'll get access to said treasure once we can swing our yellows in. All right. Guys, look alive. Not going to spend a ton of time in this area doing this because the shower room is really long and kind of complicated. So I don't want this video to turn into another hour long extravaganza as much as I know you all loved it or something. I keep telling myself that. So we go ahead and whistle off the blues here once the other ones have managed to bring it around town. Oh, there's a blue in there. It can be a blue with you, but you just have to make sure that your yellows aren't going to get bamboozled here. Mainly just looking for... Oh, oh, are we being murdered? Oh, we're being murdered. What is happening? Oh, we're being attacked by Shearwigs. Yeah, I forgot about these ones. Oops. All right. Well, instead, how about we just uh, go ahead and dispatch them? They're... If you do... If you attack them this way, it's entirely possible to take them out with the same level of ease that you would have had you been uh, doing like a bull borb or something. All right, so you have to be very careful with this and try to toss your yellows over the ledge. Oh boy. No, come back. I think I'm doing that poorly. All right. Yeah, this is kind of, this is a bit of a, of an annoying thing to have to do. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this or a better way to do this, but trying to think because your yellows in that spot will run to the uh, the treasure that's behind them. That's obviously not what I'm trying to get them to do. Stay away from me. Bulb orbs. Okay, so if you guys could all hurry up and get over there. All right, good. Just don't let them... Oh, that blue is going to touch the gate and probably kill itself. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, bud. 
So we'll have them take that down, and then we'll have Olimar. Let's let's continue with the berry hunt one one more time. We actually do need some blues though to acquire said treasure in the stead of the yellows. I don't think that they'll be able to knock down that gate in time for it to really be a big deal, but got some yellows here, plenty of blues, always blues. Here we go. Don't need this many to be honest, but whatever works. And we're gonna obviously be reconfiguring here in a few moments because of the, uh, the dungeon itself. So it looks like the gate is almost done. Bulborbs to heck off. As you can see, there's an. Oh, you guys got stuck. Oh, you know what? Uh, well, no, I was I was gonna leave you alone, but now you're dead. Yep, that's what you get. All right, you guys help yourselves. I don't need all these blues, so they can just go for it. Once these yellows are finally done in 700 years, we're actually pretty close to wiping out. Um, wiping this area out so we should be good this is gonna be a little tricky to get the yellows back unfortunately I don't know if this is the intended way to do this but it's the only way that I could think of so with my small brain all right hurry it up we don't have all day ideally what you'll be able to do once this is complete is Louie can throw the yellows back across the old pond here and you'll be in good shape. Any day now. Take your time. Hurry up, yellows. They're just so aggressively cute in uh, smashing their little domes against these electrified paper clips. All right, we done? All right, we're good. Nope, 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 yellow water, yellow water, nope, 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 nope. All right, good, 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 good. All right, switch to Olimar. Bring in your always blues here. This should be enough, right? It's the exact amount, exact change, right? There we go, okay. And then with Louie, you can very carefully come over here and you should be able to toss your yellows across Or just do that. All right. Get out of the water. 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 All right, we lost a couple. <laughs> and in the process, we whistled the blues away that we're trying to work. Sorry, guys. Sometimes in life, you just gotta murder a couple yellows when you're trying to get your job done. All right. And I think that that should be... We didn't actually... <laughs> finish up with the berries because I got distracted with trying to get this treasure. Are there even any over here? Yeah, they're still they're just hanging around. You know, not getting the berries that are right in front of them. Very cool. Super useful. I'd like to think that we're probably pretty close to another spray. Maybe. 8 out of 10. Yeah, we just need two more berries. That's fine. So we'll have these guys carry the treasure. We'll help them out with the yellows now because you can have as many as you want. Sort of take it back. Great, take it back, take it back now, y'all. Okay, so you guys can carry all this stuff up. Very good. Let's hopefully have these guys. Just two. There you go. All right, you're done. That's enough for now. Carry these two berries back. Very good. Okay. And then we can head to the shower room here in a moment. Let's all just get and take a nice shower together. Okay. So this should be good. Gonna whistle up all the stray Pikmin. And reconfigure the team here in a moment. We're gonna want a little bit of everything. This this cave is kind of ridiculous. It's it does have a, a lot in it, and it's kind of long. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. But you know it probably will. Oh boy, America's favorite pasta sauce, the optical illustration. As somebody who is of 
Pasta sauce descent. It's kind of offensive to make sauce out of a jar, but if you do it, I don't blame you. It does take some effort to make a good pasta sauce, so let's go ahead and put away a ton of these blues. We don't need 66 of them. Probably going to go for 25. And we definitely don't need however many yellows we have. Probably go with... that's red. I don't know what colors are. Let's go with... Um, that puts us at 50. Let's go with 20 yellows. This is another one of those caves where if you don't want to have a full roster of Pikmin, you don't need to. Oh, I said 20, not 25. All right, so put those boys back. Okay, we got two spicy sprays. Very good. Let's do... Let's do 30 red. That puts us at 76. What? Actually, you know, let's go. I'm just making sure I have enough space for the Pikmin that matter. Let's go with 15 purples and 10 white. That should be good. I think that brings us up to an even hundo. It does. All right. And now we can safely travel across. The pond here. Get a good look at that toady bloister because. Uh, you got something even nastier coming up. Let's just say maybe they're a little related. How about that? All right. What is happening? <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, how about, you know what, we can nectar you guys real quick, that's fine. Having Pikmin that are high level is obviously going to be preferable given the circumstances. Alright, but it looks like you're all actually in good shape, so... Stop it. You're being delinquents. Alright, the sun is going down. We are going down. Into the shower room, here we go. Let's do it. This is going to be a mess. And you best be ready. Let's get cleaned up. All right, viewers, who's ready to rubber rub dub in the tub? I, I, bo I botched that. That's okay. That's not how that thing goes. Anyway, we're doing great. So get your yellows going. We've got some electrical gates to take down. Be careful, though. Some of these electrical gates are... Oops. Careful with that. Don't want to use the wrong type of Pikmin. Some of these electrical gates are followed up by falling rocks. So we want to be careful. So as you can see, we got some pretty annoying enemies in this um, in this area. We have the gray Wallywog, which is pretty dangerous, and then we also have the um, the watery Blowhog, which isn't as bad, but they can be really tricky sometimes if you're not prepared for it. The main trick here is just to try to lure them away one at a time, and just to kind of. Uh, Split your squad up. Don't really need them to kill these tadpole things, but if they want, no, 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 no. You're giving, you're blowing our cover. Stop. It. Ugh. All right, Pikmin. You're getting on my nerves here. You're not splitting up in the ways that I need you to. All right. So, yeah, you gotta be mindful of that. The um. See, we can lure the gray Wallywog here. Very good. And then you can just pounce on it. Hopefully that fire blow or watery blowhog does not notice us yet. Don't notice me, senpai. All right, so he's coming in hot, checking on his buddy. He's like, who murdered my friend? We were going to go out for pizza later. Well, now you can't because you're dead. No pizza for you, dead boy. All right, so that should be good. Be very careful here, though. Um, yeah, you can kill the tapples if you want. I think we took care of all the hazards in the area, maybe. But I'm just gonna be very careful here. You don't need to take out all the gates and all the obstructions, just the ones that are 
you know, immediately preventing the treasure, which in this case is just the one, I think, on floor number one. Okay. Well done, us. That's the Merciless Extractor. <laughs> That's a great name. The Merciless Extractor. All right. So another thing that I haven't really been paying attention to, but does count, is you don't need to have all of your Pikmin at the ground butthole. You can actually get away with just making sure that they are under possession of at least one of your captains. That's pretty much the only rule. Okay, so we got some lesser bulb orbs here. No, stop it. Do not eat my Pikmin, thank you. Please and thanks. Okay. So it looks like there is a poison spout over here. I made my microphone go a little wonky. All right, so trying to be careful here if you throw anything that's not a white Pikmin it will instantly die to poison so maybe not instantly but it gets very sad all right what is the point of this okay that was just the RNG basically making me look like a fool it's like here you go dummy all right so moving out of the initial opening area we've got a bull board around a corner whoa I <laughs> got him. See you. All right, and more poison. Let's go ahead and have. Yeah, just be careful here. Throw that yellow on top of the gate, I guess. We'll have the full squadron here attack this obstacle. So it's like a nectar egg, to be honest. The game likes to be really sneaky though, and th throw Pikmin. Oh, throw enemies at you, not Pikmin. It actually does throw Pikmin at you eventually, but not yet. Okay, so first things first. I just wish that the throwing and gathering mechanic was more accurate, where I don't have to worry that it's going to send the wrong type of Pikmin out when I call on it. Like, it's supposed to organize them, but it doesn't always work that way. All right, so we got a big old Mama Bull Borb here. No, do not. Do not. All right, so lost some blues, that's horrible, but we will have a chance to replace them, don't worry. And we will. Blue Pikmin are definitely the ones you want. I thought I thought the stun on that would have been good enough, but apparently it wasn't. So thank you, game, for that, for lying to me. All right, hopefully my Pikmin can take this back safely. I don't think there's any hazard that direction. Unless they're dumb and walk into, those, into the poison pipe, but they should be smart enough not to do that. You'd think. All right, so let's go ahead and split off here and have a few more treasures. Oh, okay. I thought these bulbars were already dead. <laughs> They're not. All right. Okay, another treasure. The first one of this floor is the mild soap. The sud generator. I thought that said scalp for a second. The mild scalp. What about a spicy scalp? All right, so we actually have gathered one of these treasures already. It was one of the first treasures of the game, which is interesting. And they are taking it right for the poison pipe, which is awesome. Great job. Do not want you to do that. In that case, if you could get out of here. Quit. Nope. Stop. This is the greater jelly float, actually, so maybe it wouldn't hurt to murder this guy real quick and show you how to do it. Greater Jelly Floats won't actually kill your Pikmin at a reasonable rate. I don't know what that means, but it takes them a while. So in that case, you know, All right, let's go ahead and get Louie and do I have, oop, do I have any white Pikmin or are they all back at the, oh my gosh. Okay. They're all apparently back at the, uh, The radar. I was so kerfluffled that I forgot how to say it. And I don't actually need to do it this way, but you know, whatever, I'm feeling like it. So there we go, full squad. We will have the white Pikmin once again. Take out the poisonous poo gas. Working together like birds of a feather. All right, great job. And now we can use the white Pikmin again to carry this one just because it is faster. As you know, they are speedy boys. 
and go. I love how fast they are. It makes me very happy. We can use their speed to our advantage and we can head over here. We'll have, nope, nope, nope. Nobody's listening. Oh, guys, you don't need it. It's like when I was a kid at the store as a, as a youngin, and I would be like, I, I need all of these Pokemon cards or this this ma this Matchbox car, the durable energy cell. Or is it Hot Wheels? I don't remember which one was better. All right, Louie, go grab the other half. That's all the treasures on this floor complete. Yeah. These first couple floors aren't the worst, but it gets pretty gnarly. All right, that's 17, so we need to have 78 to proceed, and we will. Yeah, so this is what I was saying. You can split up your your Pikmin as long as you get 50, or half and half. It doesn't have to be exactly split with uh, Louie and Oliver. All right, time to ramp up the difficulty here. I think we've got probably two or three treasures on this floor. I don't know if this is anything that I need. This looks like another nectar egg, but it'd be cool if it was a uh, a spray egg. I would like that a lot. It is. I think I don't know if we've actually gathered one of this the bitter sprays this way, but it has to tell us. All right, so let's go ahead and suck on this goo. Very cool. All right, now we're all evened up. A little bit of spicy, a little bit of bitter. This game makes me feel bitter sometimes. All right. Let's get some nectar too for some of our, our youngsters on the squad. All right, very cool. All right, moving on. We have another variant of the jelly float, as you can see. Come on over here. It's the greater jelly float, which is really annoying. And they're gonna try to come after us at the same time. So what is the difference? Oop, this also sucks up your captain. What is the difference between uh, a, a greater jelly float and a lesser jelly float? Well, the greater ones, as you can see, will come after your captain, which is really annoying. So I think the lesser ones will only go for your Pikmin. The greater ones will go for whoever they can find. But thankfully, they don't really wind up um, doing damage to you. I mean, I, I guess like when they drop the, the captain, but they're just there to suck on you a little bit. And he doesn't like that. All right, so let's go ahead and kill one of these guys. These are probably one of my least favorite enemies in the game, but they die in rapid fashion to purple, as everything basically does. That's how I like to live my life. Purple, the notorious killing color. All right, the mirrored stage. That's a uh, little makeup mirror, I think, a little compact thing. You can use to powder your nose on the go. One form of doing that. It's not usually what people mean when they say that, but. Alright, so. We went that way last time. There's no jelly float. I think we can go around this way actually and avoid the other one. I think there's no water here, but the first thing I'm gonna want to kill is this annoying guy. These ones are just so obnoxious. Okay, so once you get a chance, then you can really start to overwhelm it. I'm trying to very quietly wrap it, hammer my button here so you don't hear it all over the place. But yeah, it'll suck up one or two Pikmin at a time. And if you're careful, it won't really be able to do any damage to you, so... I don't think you need to really, um... As long as my... Uh, can you just take it the safe way? That's one thing that really annoys me is, like, your Pikmin don't have the common sense pathing to just take it away that's not gonna get them all brutally murdered. No, nope, you stay away from me. One more of these guys. One more of these guys. Okay. Oh no, Cromad. Cromad. I, I didn't even see this boy. Oh, he's dead now. I got a red. Get him. I don't know if I can, if I'm actually doing any damage to him right here. Nope, he's just eating my Pikmin. Super uncool. Let's switch to purples. I was not paying attention to that. Okay, the scrumptious show. I didn't even know they snuck the Chromad back there. 
Nope. Oh, that's that's just brutal. Come on out, bud. Come on out. Come on out. Oh, you're so dead when I get a second. There we go. All right, now you're dead, boy. Get him. Chromite's not really that tough to dispatch. Okay, I don't think that there is... Where's the final treasure? Where is it? Let's go ahead and... Nope. This is one of my big pet peeves when I play this game. Alright, probably should kill one of these things. Let's get in my way. The sooner you kill these enemies, the faster, obviously, you can go when you're trying to clear a floor. Not always necessary, but... Alright. Yeah, whatever. I didn't ask any of you to follow me. Go away. Alright, uh, looks like the treasure is underwater. Which is... something. Okay, blue Pikmin, have at it. Hopefully you don't need more than... Of course you do. Okay, don't have enough. Gonna go ahead and grab some more. Yeah, this is why it's important just to have a real good heavy arsenal of every color, especially for a dungeon like this. Hopefully they carry it the right way. Whistle everybody together. And we can lie and wait by the... Next floor downstairs go down thing. Hmm, there you go, that's words. I'm losing it, viewers. All right, here we go. So once we get the blue Pikmin over here. Oh my gosh, this is taking eons. Come on, today. Just blues, hopefully. I don't really need my reds to do that. Not really gaining anything by taking the the dead bodies back. You get so few Pocos, it's just not worth it. All right, go, faster. Sometimes I forget to dogpile the, the treasure once <laughs> I get it back in the area to make it faster. I'm like, oh, well, I wish they'd hurry up. I could be making the process a lot faster, but I just forget. Okay, and here's the final treasure of the floor, which I don't know how this is a treasure, but whatever. It's not for me to decide the... The what? Oh, nope, that's a Wally Wog. You can go ahead and just stay back there for all of eternity, Bo Bozo. I'm just called him Bogo. All right, 56 and 35 is 91. This is Math Simulator. Here we go. Okay, we're about halfway down. Hopefully you guys are still hanging with me. Keep it together, viewers. We're almost there. Okay. Hopefully this floor is not uh, too brutal. I don't even know. Oh, that looks like an exit. If you want to tap out early like a chump. Oh, cool. And half my Pikmin are lost. <laughs> I guess we'll have to come back for them in a moment. That's pretty cool of the game to do that. Was there a treasure right here? Well, there is treasure right here. If I could just... Okay, maybe not. Maybe I need yellows. All right, yellows, get in that pipe. Hop in that pipe. Oh, that's it. Well, if you weren't having a good time, now you can. That'll... That'll make this a more exciting experience, if you know what I'm saying. All right, looks like some queen candy pop bugs. And I don't know what Pikmin I need the most of. Probably blues, if I had to guess. What's nice though is if you send whatever color that you um, are missing, the game will uh, just generate more. So one blue into a blue candy pop bud, I think makes seven additional. So there you go. And I mean, we already had almost 100, so there's no real point to do it again, but very nice. Now we have eight extra blues, which, trust me, you will want all kinds of that. Oh, look at this. It's a little Mary Jane. The Arboral Frippery, which I think is funny because I guarantee that they're going to be like, oh, it's a maple leaf. 
Ooh, and these guys, let's just have at it and just murder the heck out of every butterfly here as fast as possible. The more you murder, the more you get. Viewers, it's fun. Murder is fun. Yeah, so if you murder the right kind, sometimes you'll get a, a spray or some nectar. In this case, looks like we just got nectar, which is fine. And we're going to actually split off here because... The remainder of the team, I think, are the ones that got stuck being a bunch of ding-dongs. This weird network of pipes here. Okay. Yeah, these are the ones that got stuck earlier when I was attempting to explore. That's 32. Any more along this? Yes. Man, a lot of you got stuck. Jeez. That's 41. So if we have 58 Pikmin here, we're good to go. We are good to go. That's a nice quick way to... Add it up and move out. Okay. I think this is the... We have three floors to go, I think, maybe. Also, this music is just chaos. Do you hear it? Boop, 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 boop. It's like somebody uh, got a hold of like a, a steel drum. And doesn't know how to play it. So they're just you know, hitting all the random spots on it that they can. Alright, let's clear these bull borbs out. Ooh, oh, you missed. Thanks, game. Love that for me. Yeah, these floors, obviously, are gonna get progressively harder and just have random tough challenges to, to dispatch, one of which shouldn't be a big deal, but, um, yeah. These little fire spouts, if you're not paying attention, can, can really catch you by surprise, so just be careful. It's a puffy blowhog, actually. I might want to come from the other direction. I don't like the... I don't like one direction, so I'm going to come from the other way. We'll do a little bit of a sneak attack. Puffy blowhogs are really annoying. Probably one of my least favorite enemies beyond the... the wallywogs, so... Because this is this is what they do, is like... They, they make it really tough for you to, um to attack. Actually, what I need to do is uh, use my reds here and take out this fiery blowhog. They won't be affected by it. So we'll come after the puffy blowhog in a second, but getting rid of the fiery variant is obviously very important. So after 700 uh, attack cycles, we'll finally have it done. Alright, very good. And then we have another one over here, so go ahead and have him get rushed. And they can actually just focus on him now because he'll just knock them off and they'll keep coming back, so here we go. I'm gonna try to have all my Pikmin whistle back and then attack the Puffy Blowhog. The moment that it hits the ground is obviously your chance to really go for it, so. Okay, and that was everything here, I believe. Oh, there's another treasure up there. I don't know if my Pikmin will be stupid enough to go for it up there, but I bet they would because what else is new? That should be plenty. Figured out today. Please don't take it into the fire. Just walk off the ledge slowly and go the way that I've prepared for you. That's all you have to do. I don't ask for much viewers. Come on. Yes, but this is kind of where like it starts to get a little dicey things are obviously the difficulty always ramps up but yeah this floor isn't so bad the floors after this one though if I remember are oof, they're pretty brutal so prepare yourselves it's gonna get nasty it's just gonna get so nasty okay so that's two of the treasures I think we have one more Somewhere. Do I know where? No. Alright, so that's one of the treasures. The Pondering Emblem. Okay, and right on its heels is another. The Broken Food... <laughs> broken Food Master, that's great. I mean, if you see, like, we're already pretty close to, um... We are already pretty close to the the final tally of um, 
Uh, how are you even attacking me right now? Like, what Pikmin are you going after? Use your yellows if you can to speed up the process here and gather the final treasure. Your Pikmin are smart. Hopefully they will avoid the bull borbs. You don't really need to go that way. But I believe the exit is actually here. So have them hopefully safely tear this down. And once again, use the tactic of one captain going and fishing the remaining Pikmin out once they get the treasure going. So I probably could have finished some other floors of different dungeons much faster if I would have known that. I mean, I think I, I kind of did know it. I just wasn't sure. I didn't want to abandon ship. Here we go. The endless repository of beach cliff sardines. Never had sardines. I don't intend to. I've had sardine flavored things though, I think. Like, um, um, what do you call it? Worcestershire sauce? How do you say that? That's a really hard word. Oof. Moving on. I believe that this floor is actually horrible. Like, this is one of the worst floors of any dungeon in the game, so. I mean, look at it already. We got a Wallywog. We have a, um, a giant Bulborb. Yeah, this, this floor already kind of sucks. What are you guys attacking? Let's go ahead and take out the Wallywog first. Lure it up. Okay, good. Yeah, if you can get rid of, like, the obvious threats early, that's obviously ideal. Try not to lose your Pikmin in the process. You guys are attacking a wall? Oh, yeah, there's a treasure back there. I didn't see it. Well, I'm sorry. You guys were going above and beyond, and I didn't give you recognition. It's very convenient that it puts a treasure early in the floor, but you gotta be careful because sometimes the early treasures are traps and they will, um, oh, they'll do this. Have this kind of bozo here trying to steal my, my treasures here. I was eating my Pikmin too. I'm trying to. Get him. Get him. I think, I don't know if this one causes trouble, but there is a variation of that a dweeble thing that will actually cause a lot of trouble, probably for me. The Abstract Masterpiece, Snapple Facts. I don't remember what joke it was, but it was like, oh, no, here we go. We gotta kill this thing. This is my, this, my friends, is the Dweevil. This is when your Pikmin get poisoned. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I gotta whistle them back. The Dweevil is constantly farting on your Pikmin, causing them to be poisoned. Okay, well, we got three of them. Hopefully not a purple. Yeah, he's, uh, he's trouble. He's a farter. And it has triggered Mama Bulborb. Looking for a snack. Not mine. Come back. Now you're mine. Okay. Get her real quick. Let's get it going. Kill her before any damages. Very good. Actually, I kind of want to clear the, clear the area here. I don't know if that Dweevil just goes away, but yeah. You gotta be careful. Hopefully I didn't lose any of my purples. I might have. I don't know. I can't tell how many are carrying anything anymore, so... We'll probably get another chance to replenish, so I'm not too worried about it. Nope. They're all intact. Very good. Speak of... right here. So I don't know if this is a purple or a white one, but... This looks like another, um... Yeah. A white candy pot bud. Perfect. And we'll use reds because... They're the most expendable still currently, especially in this dungeon. You're definitely going to want to keep blues around. I think in this floor specifically, there might be a treasure that if you don't have enough blues, you just can't get it. So just something to keep in mind as you're traipsing through. Yeah, this is one of the most annoying parts. I'm actually going to be careful here and see if I can go for the thing that I know is in here. Yes, there you are, you jerk. Not this one, but... There is one. Come on. To come my way. It's not... Yeah, there is... I hate dweevils and... There's a variation of said dweevil that's gonna... Yeah, this one will shock you, so... I'm gonna try to kill it with Olimar if I can. Like I said, it would be nice if I could have Louie, then they could tag team and do double damage. Here we go, boys. Let's go. Time to... Oop, that's not a... I don't want a red Pikmin. Time to throw fisticuffs. Here we go. Here we go, the Hokitation boys. 
And I don't think this thing can actually hurt us anymore because of um, our immunity to electricity. Even attack bull borbs? Yes. Double punch in? And there's a really annoying enemy right at the end of this hallway. So I'm trying to clear out these hazards. Okay. Well, that's really annoying. This uh, enemy is a form of snitch bug, I think. I'm trying to be careful here. Oop. I'd like you not do that. Let me run. I'm trying to lure him in, though. I want him to follow me. Come on. If I could aggro him. You could already see that there's a really nasty enemy waiting in the wings here on the other side. And I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, get him. Get him. It's right in that little tube right over there. Nope. Get him. I'm not going back there any further. I've learned my lesson about being too aggressive, so... Let's have my Pikmin gather this treasure real quick, which is kind of a gross treasure. Hopefully they don't trigger the, um, the hidden enemies in here. That's the one thing you gotta watch out for is... Sometimes these hidden enemies are just really nasty. Alright, so let's split up real quick. Have, um... Nope, just... just... just two. Just the two. Okay, very gross. The behemoth jaw. I wonder whose teeth they model that after. So we got uh, some chompers, huh? All right. And in the back of here, not this one. I know it's in here. Where are you, you little jerk? There you are. Yes. That's the one you got to watch out for. Is the um, the whatever that's called, the dweevil that's got the bomb rock on it. That will basically extinct your entire squad if you're not paying attention. Thankfully that's never happened to me, right? Okay, so switch to your yellows. I think there's just the one, thankfully. Okay, so get the- this- this- this snitch bug in particular is annoying because it goes after, um, it goes after your captains. So if you can find a way to, to weigh it down, You can, uh, you can swarm it, obviously. Okay, yeah, and I think that's the only one of its ilk here. There might be another treasure. I don't think there's any buried treasure in here. Oh, it looks like it's over there. That's a blues only treasure. So, we will split up and just grab some blues. This is one of those dungeons where it's like, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm kind of like going backwards. Um, it's really tempting to just kind of rush through, but trust me, this one in particular you don't want to do. Especially when you um, need certain variants of Pikmin. So just just give the old d mic trust here, huh? Yeah, alright. Get some blues. Only blues, really. After we kill the bull board. That's fine. And then just blues for this one as well. There's a bulbar in the water, which is kind of weird. I didn't know they could swim. I don't know if they can. I... Makes me wonder if that's like a, a glitch or something. All right, only blues here. No nope, purples. Stay out of that heckin' water. Get out of there, you dummies. I did not say purple. Or yellow, for that matter. All right, how many does this take? A lot? Eight? I actually would have guessed that would have been more. Come on, you slackers. Get in here. Get in the pond. Help out. Okay, so that is good. This is a really huge floor, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna go back with Louie here, and I know that I I don't need you guys to do that. We're still missing one thing, and I don't know where it is. Um, it's one of the annoyances of these longer dungeons is the floors are just huge. Let's see if the map will tell us. Oh, is that it? I can't just be it. Hold on. Yeah, I feel like there was a third thing unless we already got it. But I don't feel like we did. Game, are you playing tricks on me? Quit playing games with my heart. Alright, so they are taking this back. I guarantee that there's going to be a third one I'm missing somewhere. It's probably like stuck in the geometry of the level. I'll never be able to get it. But as far as I know, it looks like this. That's... This is what this part of this level is, is just 
this little hallway. Okay. One of the cutest treasures, the rubber ugly. No, I guess that's it. Okay. So we will... Nope. I don't need anybody to come with me. All right, I guess you're coming back for the return. This is just once again to make sure I have the full squad. I didn't think that I got everything on this floor, but I guess I did. That's weird. All right, 31. 65. 96. Moving on. Here we go. Okay, I think this is the final floor, maybe. Okay, so... Oof. This is where the final boss is. There's a lot of gates here. I can already see it. Ugh. I don't know if you guys remember the Toady Bloister, but this is its uh, ugly older brother. Not cool. I don't know if this actually helps at all, but... The final boss of this cave isn't really like, it's not horrific, it's just you have to know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, it's very easy to get overwhelmed and then have your Pikmin die in mass numbers, so... Um... I don't know if these are just like alternate paths to go to it? Yeah, I don't like... I don't like the lack of space that that would afford me. You're basically only going to want to use your reds and your purples again for this final section. Just trust me on this one. So first thing is, uh, yeah, let's open it up. This is the boss arena. Have all your Pikmin come together. And come together and give yourselves CTE. Knocking down these walls. Knocking, knocking doors down. Okay, so first things first, before the boss music kicks in and makes me all flustered, is split up your squad. Give one half of, or give one of your captains the reds, one half of the captains the purples. Now, one of the things you're going to learn about Toad, about Raging Bloister, that's the uh, advanced version here, is they love shiny things like spacesuits. So, you've got your Pikmin here that are going to follow whichever captain you have, and it will lock on to whichever captain you have. So, when it comes over to to find you. Wait till it turns around, of course. I don't think you actually can get in here. But you can see its attack cycles. You can switch to your other kind of Pikmin and whoop. It's gonna, that's probably gonna be a waste of that. I can't really get to it. Nope, stop. All right, this is not going well yet, but you wanna try to lure it away and then have your other captain come in. Well, it's going over there and nope. This is going really poorly. Oh boy. Yeah, this is kind of like a, it's like a toady bloister fight. But you have to split your captains up. So we're gonna reset here in a second. If I can get away from it. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Down into the hallway. Yeah, we're just gonna try to get back here. Nope, stay away from me. I don't think it can get into the hallway, thankfully, so. Yes, so we will split up and try that again. You basically want to have one captain with the Pikmin that you need, and then... Oh, must have been a couple of reds that got stuck in there. Sorry, guys. It will uh, lock on to your other captain. So I wonder if it would just be better to lure it away with... Oh, you're eating my reds. And then have your purples act as bait here. This might actually be over faster than I thought. Yeah, I guess I, I could have done it that way. I wasn't trying to use the reds as bait, but you know, it's reds. And there you go. Woo, this gooey creature. Oh, so much goo. Coated in slime. Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> It'd be nice if you cleaned eventually. All right, so there you go. So that fight's not really too uh, too dangerous if you do it that way, but obviously I kind of had to reconfigure a tiny bit, unfortunately, but it is what it is. You know, we, we made it out pretty unscathed, which is fine. We'll have these purples attack the wall. 
and we'll scoop everybody else up the normal way. All right, White Pikmin, how about you get in there and uh, make this not a miserable process? How about we just, there you go. Let's go ahead and speedy quick. We got places to be and people to see. This episode's already getting kind of long. I'm gonna try to keep it under the hour mark. Ooh, game does not like this. The amplified amplifier, very cool. Ooh, the mega tweeter is ours. So basically what this does is, I don't know if it takes place now, but it basically just lets you have the, um, your whistle range is better. That's it. So and that should be all the Pikmin and we are out of here. Bye. And that is a cave complete. Yes. I was afraid that I didn't get everything, but I believe I did. And we are really close to uh, being done. Back to the perplexing pool. Okay, and uh, yeah, 90% of the debt recovered. Very cool. A full squad, and we're just gonna end the day right now. Very good work, everybody. Got a lot of Pocos. Almost 1,500 just from that one, uh, one area plus the above ground. So, you know, we didn't lose any massive amount. Went down a little bit in reds. That's okay. Those are kind of your disposable one. Not disposable. Dispensable. Whatever you want to say. All right. Let's get some mail here. Only a bit of debt remains. If you dolts can gather treasures with such ease, I figure I could find boatloads down there. I'll have to think about this. And that's kind of a hint that things might be a change in. I'm hitting the wrong button. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. And we are done for the day. Yes. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 2. If you enjoyed this episode, liking, commenting, and subscribing would make me very happy. And I'll see you next time. Bye.